Hi guys, this is Majid. No, no, no. Ready? Go. Hi guys, this is Majid. And uh, I'm a Golden Glove, Blue Gold National Champion in Kickboxing National and US number one and World Champion in Japan in Kickboxing. So I would like to show you how people ask me about how to make a punch. So when you close your hair, first of all, you don't make a punch just like this, you hold it. You have to squeeze your fingers all the way up till they fall in the first area of your fingers. And now when I close the punch in, remember these are all even, so it's flat. People talk about hitting the first two knuckles. It's impossible. If you do do it, you see this bone? I broke this one. You see this bone? I broke this one. So did my sensei Benny. So you cannot hit one or two, even though my knuckles are very well developed. I've been practicing on the Japanese Bushido way, hitting the Makawara board all the time, hitting the wooden board constantly. It's hard, but you develop a callus and you develop a conditioning here, but you're still in a real fight. You don't hit the first two knuckles. You try to hit the flat. If you see boxing, it's flat handed. Now, let me tell you about Makiwara, Japanese way of punching. In old time, it used to be the Kyukushinke way, or Japanese way, is putting your hands here and turning the wrist. They the karate, they use the karate to turn the shoulder to snap quick. And what is that teaching us? It's teaching how to torque the body from upper torso. And here comes the boxing. And what is boxing? Boxing is more standing to your stance, not square, but stance word. So you have the ability to move and to open up your hands. And so what is what is a jab? So jab start with the punch. My hands are still here. It does not turn to the last minute. It comes up and turns. And now watch the most important part people don't know about the jab. It's the shoulder facing 12 o'clock. And my shoulder is protected. It's not like this. It's my shoulder. So I am the head. The hanger is over there. My hanger will go to the side. So when I go hanger to the side, you can see my leverage is different. I don't want to break the car, but I want to see the leverages with the back. Do you see the car moving? It shakes because if I do it with the hand press, it's a lot of muscle work. But with the leverage, you're using your back. And look, my whole back, it becomes one arrow. Straight line gives you more momentum to push forward. Power punches are done with short and impact. That means you're using your body weight. So imagine if I'm in the car, the car is going 80 miles an hour, but I can only throw a ball 20 miles an hour. I pitch a ball, I go 20 miles, or maybe 40 miles an hour, right? And I'm sitting, I'm driving in the car, and I have the dog, car is going about 100 miles an hour. And I throw a pitch, boom, and now, my ball is 140 miles an hour. What does that mean? That means if I'm punching 40 miles an hour, just the jab, like this, just the jab, like this. Watch when I move my weight and I go, and I'm using my speed and my hand. So speed with the legs, this is my car, and this is my punch. So I'm moving, pop, double up. So it's pop, pop. So it kicks up the quick motion. So it starts with your legs, this is your body and this is the punch. When you double up, you mix it up again. So we're gonna go into detail. I'm gonna go in the back room and show how the jab is done. And remember, my body never moves. My head is never telegraphing. When I make a punch, boom, it's quick. And it's remember, I turned the shoulder straight to you and came back. The shortest distance is a straight line between my chin and your chin. If you put your hands down, now I have to leap it up to go towards the target. But when you bring your face straight up and now it's too far away, I can slope up. Boom. And without even telegraphing, we can go in and out, in and out. Stepping jab is a more powerful step. Boom. You're bouncing. If you start from zero, it's hard. If you start from zero, it's very hard. But if you're bouncing, now you have unpredictable movement to which time you're coming in. I'm moving, I'm quick, quick. So that's why Ali was so good in jabs. Because he was moving, first of all, he had just throwing the punch out there, moving. Boom. Moving around. Yeah. Boom. Loose hands. Loose hands. Fist tight. Arm moves. Boom. At the end of the impact. Boom. And now what is the jab that makes it so perfect? Jab is made with two different things. First, the footwork. The timing of your body stepping. At the same time, the punch is jabbing. So I step and I punch late. And when I punch, I got to keep the punch tight at the end of the impact. So stepping and punching and thrusting at the same time. Step, they all have to land at the same time. I step and I punch. And the moment of the impact has to come at the same time. My step, my punch, my impact, they all come at the same time. This is the key. So when I'm punching, boom, they all have to land at the same exact time. If it's a little bit earlier, you punch won't open up. If it's too further, you won't open up. You have to be at the same time. I mean, it's my choice. You can do your own way. Sometimes unpredictable, 
but the real punch comes in when you have your hand and feet and your body and the impact comes together. You ever seen a speed bag? What is a speed bag? A lot of people think it's just a rhythm. It's great rhythm, but what it is, your hands are loose. The moment of impact, you tighten up your fist. That means you're breaking up the punch in the mid air and you tighten up your fist. You can't be tight all around. You can be, but you have to slightly, at the moment of impact, you have fist tight. It teaches your mind how to be consistent with your impact and to be squeezing the punch. Same thing with boxing. When you're punching, you're punching and breaking the target in the air. Boom. You're breaking the punching the target in the air. Boom. You're breaking the punch in mid air. So there's nothing that you follow through. Ali was so good because he threw the punches in mid air and broke the target. He didn't go through them. There's power punching and there's snapping and there's shattering. Stopping impact is touch. Shattering impact is about an inch deeper than you touch the surface and then breaking impact going through the target. D3's impact can make a difference, but when you do your footwork with it, it doubles up the impact. Remember, if you aim for the one knuckle, you, you're gonna be hard to connect. Aim for the full hand, chances are higher. And in boxing, you do want to land with full hand. If you do land with one hand, you might end up like me. Now let's go in the back room and let's figure this out how to broke it over there.